Now this is interesting. A Japanese player posted this on the forums saying Japanese survivors aren't very happy about the solo queue update. And it looks like it's true. If we click this link, we get to the official Dead by Daylight Japanese Twitter feed. And this post essentially says, next update coming soon with a survivor action display function. And we're going to be showing the pair level of generators with friends. This tweet has 2000 likes and 1000 quote tweets. But this doesn't really tell the full story. If what is said in Discord is actually true, let's find out what people are actually thinking in Japan, or at least people who speak Japanese. There are more clumsy mackerel who can't even exchange fishing compared to the old days. The game becomes more and more boring every time the management thinks. Just so you know, there's a bit of translation error because it's Google Translate. The gist of this is basically, there are a lot of people who don't know what they're doing, and don't really know how to play extremely well compared to the old days. It became, the game becomes more and more, every single time, behavior coddles to this certain group. And in response, those who are spoiled get worse and worse. Those who are strict get better and better. This is a very pessimistic view towards the update in terms of saying those who are quite bad, when we hold their hands, they're holding on to these handicaps. They're not actually getting better at the game, and this update doesn't do anything to help them. This is basically an update that just makes it so that the better players just get better at the game as they have more access to information. Then, and this is just one reply. With Dead by Daily being so big in Japan when it comes to either the mobile game or like the regular game, they actually do have ads for Dead by Daily in Tokyo, which is quite cool. If we scroll down on the Japanese patch notes, it's essentially the same as the English patch notes. Okay, this is what your teammates are doing. They're doing a totem. This guy's getting chased due to the chase symbol, chest, generator. They also have recovery status, how much someone's recovered on the floor, how much progress someone's done on a generator. And essentially, this was changed in order to bridge the gap between solo and pre-made groups. All this information can easily be conveyed between friends in a call but not between solo survivors. Therefore, this information will not make a coordinated group any stronger than before. Let's, let's break down this statement. This information will not make a coordinated group any stronger than before. When we, give, when we give survivors all the information in the world of who's doing what, who's recovered how much, what percentage of a generator is completed, we're actually making every single, every single SWIFT group a coordinated group because they have all the information of the killer's chasing me, I'm doing a totem, I'm 50% recovered, this generator is 75% full. Now I could be silent and I have all the information of coordination at my fingertips without ever needing to say anything. Usually this would only be a problem with, pe with people who are super competitive and want to make sure that their friends always knew what they were doing at all times. There's a point to be made that some people play this game casually and that this update may make it so that everything's being pushed towards a more optimized direction. When everyone knows what's going on, yes, this bridges the gap between solos and swifts, but only to the pulls of the extreme swifts. This update will essentially make the game feel like killers are always going against a coordinated team, whether they're solo or swift. This is what behavior actually wanted to do. In the case for people who speak Japanese, they think that bad survivors are getting their hands held. Well, the problem is what will happen to the, the killer's kill rate when it's actually implemented. I would like you to consider not the whole, but the beginners, intermediate, advanced, and killers separately. Behavior, I'm looking forward to the appropriate game balance adjustments. This is where it's important. Killers will now always be going against coordinated teams. Games get really hard for all killers across the board because every single match, all the survivors will always know what's happening all the time. While bridging this gap between solos and swifts, I think it's important to mention that this may require killers to get a buff, as coordinated teams used to be a small minority of the game. The killers north, the killers at shack, I'm doing a totem, the generator's at 90%, your adrenaline's about to pop. Every single match will have perfect knowledge for every single player, and everything will be quite coordinated. Let's look at a, a couple more replies. If the reason for adding this feature is to close the gap between solo and swift, wouldn't it be even better if the display function turned off automatically when swift was assembled? Since new killers are being neglected, the decrease in players is likely to accelerate. That is quite true. If I'm a new killer, now I'm always going against a coordinated group. This is a very survivor-oriented update 
And I think we covered the basis that behavior needs to make balance changes to make it so that playing killer doesn't become too overwhelming. As we're pushing this game more towards an optimized play, all the things in the game that we had to predict are now filled in for us. I just don't need this feature. The most fun is the joy of being able to cooperate with your own judgment and prediction in the wild. I was forced to retire from the game because of this. Survivor main. But even Survivor is boring. Seek abolition. Do you have any plans to remove the anonymity feature in the future? I wonder why they, they want to get rid of this. Survivors, are you satisfied with only these training wheels? The action display implementation is still coming. Okay, accept what comes. However, if you can choose to turn off the action display on and off and always give a negative percentage to the work efficiency when it's on, this is acceptable. As always, I'm completely exhausted by Survivor. From this sentence, I feel that killers are volunteers, and if they can't be wiped out so much, beginner killers basically run away. So wouldn't the killer population increase? And by reading these comments, I feel like the Japanese community care more about the game health in comparison to a lot of the English speaking community. A lot of these Japanese comments are worried that killers will leave the game due to the games being too hard. Every single group will become coordinated. New killers will, will decrease and killers are basically volunteers that are masochistic that are thrown into such pain. It seems there might be a pattern where survivors get a lot what they want due to a lot of survivors being held hands while playing the game. And these aren't even the most passionate tweets. There are still quote tweets. I want it when I first started. This person's wanted this change. It might be good for people who are already strong, but no, it might not be good. But it's hard when you're practicing killer for fun. It's playing killer is just too hard. I was forced to bend my knees to a survivor today as usual. I wonder if those who want to become good killers will retire from now on. This guy's complaining killers too hard. Has this day finally come? Even if you play survivor, it's fun to speculate on the actions of other survivors. So it's not fun for me personally. So this, this update takes away the prediction where the blanks aren't filled out for you. When I was killer, I was playing 1v4, but BHVR had a different perception, meaning, wow, I'm one person, they're making the four people even stronger now when I play killer? It seems that various things have been said, but the content that will be displayed this time is what people who share information through voice chat have originally done. The fact that this is making a fuss is that in voice chat, do you have any proof that you shared it? I don't know. I don't know what that is. It's, yeah. I don't think it's inevitable to assume voice chat. However, I understand the pain of killer. Painfully, it was really hard when I was aiming for red ranks. But if you're assuming 1v1 four times in one game, tunnels and camps can be quite comfortable. I think I'll enjoy DVD casually, fighting only aiming for two hangings. The game's already hard enough trying to get four kills. I'm just going to play for two so I can enjoy the game more casually. They're making the game a little bit too hard for me, so I'll just play it safe going only for a 2k so that, so that I can be less stressed out and play more casually. The repair rate of the generators also shared, that is strong. Add down chat and hooked chat. Essentially, it's being implied, why not already just add voice chat to Dead by Daylight? And maybe this is where I should stop. A lot of these changes are essentially kind of adding voice chat to Dead by Daylight in a way where everyone knows perfect knowledge. If every single survivor has perfect knowledge with each other, why not add voice chat to Dead by Daylight? Well, here's the issue. Dead by Daylight was originally designed to be balanced around four solo players. When swifts were involved, the game became broken. And it seems like behavior is pushing the game more in a direction of swift oriented actions. This update essentially gives all survivors a voice chat with each other. A very thing behavior feared adding as it might make survivors too strong in the past. And I have a feeling behavior is buffing solo queue to make them strong as swifts because there is nothing behavior can do about swifts. It's impossible to stop people from talking to each other in voice chat. Yes, this will make killers suffer more across the board, and it's not unreasonable to be afraid of these changes coming. Killers are already hard enough for a great majority of players, and we can see that through the Japanese translations on Twitter. Killer may need a buff after this change. Will these changes make the game more fun? Will it, will it make the game feel more fair? Will necessary action take place to compensate for the coordination that killers will now have to face against? After covering a lot of the thoughts from the Japanese community, I want to hear your guys' thoughts on what you guys think about all of this. As a lot of the English-speaking community sing a different tune, I think it's important to take into account 
the whole player base worldwide. Are some of these concerns justified or are they being unreasonable? Will these changes hurt the game and some of the player base is being selfish? Or will all these changes be a complete net positive for everyone all around? Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it and hope to see you guys in the next one.